If you want to play for an academy or professional, you need a way to get there. You can get there by trials. However, you need to be able to email scouts and coaches to be able to give you that opportunity by providing them with a professional football CV and highlight video that will increase your chances of gaining that trial for the club. So in this video, I'll show you how to make a football CV and also give you a walkthrough on how to construct a football CV. I was also showing you a little secret pros use to be able to increase their chances of getting an opportunity. The football CV should include a player profile, playing career, achievements, etc. With that said, let me show you how to construct a football CV. Whilst I show you how to construct this football CV, you can do it alongside me at the same time. With this football CV, you want to make sure that you present it well by using good fonts, good grammar, good punctuation, etc. etc. For example, you wouldn't use the Arial font as the Arial font is kind of the standard font and you want to show that you have been putting effort into what you are doing. So instead, here are four different types of fonts you could use. The football CV, I'll be using the Lexen font. You'd want to make this a little bit bigger, a little bit bolder, so you can identify the different sections much more easy. Firstly, you'd want to start off by writing down your name. So for example, I will put... After you put down your name, you want to decrease the font a little bit. Remember, the name must have a little bit of a larger font. After you put down your name, you want to add your phone number, your email, your nationality, and this one's optional social media handle as we come a little bit lower you'd want to increase the font again to make sure this is a new section you are making and name this one player profile now within the player profile you want to add the date of birth height weight preferred foot and your position as you do the player profile filling in all the gaps you move on to doing the playing career within the playing career you want to add all the teams you've played for during your youth which year you've played for them and even during your senior year as you put down your playing career, you'd want to put this into order. However, you can also add in your academic years when you played for a good high level school, for example. And for an example like this, this is a very interesting playing career. There's two ways you can format this. You can put in brackets next to it, whether that's academy or men's or even education for the one. This is the other format where you can put men slash senior and split, split off the two sections. Now after you've written down your playing career, you move on to the attributes. When writing the attributes section, this is where your ego kicks in a little bit. You'd want to be able to big yourself up. You want to sound as if you are a world-class player, the next Messi. But you want to keep this attribute section a little bit short but sharp. Make sure that you're writing direct what you're good at specifically your strengths and you want to include things which definitely catches the coach's eyes like talking about the fact that you would be a natural poacher and leader on the pitch or for example talking about being a highly motivated disciplined and hard-working but also communication these things must be talked about within your CV as coaches love that from a player. After you complete the attributes, there's this one more little section which we will talk about a little bit later. However, on the next page, you'd put down your playing achievements. Your playing achievements, you would put down whatever you've achieved, whether that's a professional debut at whatever age. And then you'd jot down team by team, what have you achieved during these years where you put down League Cup winners from 2012 to 2013, like here for example. However, if you have won the league multiple times with the same team, you would put something a little bit like this. Put down the season in which you've won it, and put down the comma before run the next season, and the next season carrying on with the trend. And as you can see by Cristiano Messi's achievements here, his playing achievements have been absolutely phenomenal. I mean, with Real Madrid, with one season, he's won the League Cup, Spanish Cup, Tiger Cup, Audi Cup, and the OP1 GK subscriber tournament. I reckon you should subscribe. And remember, between each team you do, you leave a gap. So it makes it more presentable. However, let's not forget, when you are constructing your football CV, you want to add a profile picture. For example, like this. You'd want to make sure that your face is directly looking at the camera, isn't blurry isn't to the side and make sure that it's clear it's close up the profile picture is probably one of the most important things to so make sure it's clear make sure it's not blurry and make sure it's up close so we can see your face however now 
There's one little secret which pros add, and many people forget about, is adding references. References are so important. As with references, there's two things the person you're sending your CV to can do. With your references, they can verify what you are saying is true and to verify how good you are as a footballer. However, but the second reason, they might call your references. They want to see what you are like as a player and even as a person in and around the training ground. There's one which is highlighted red, Tom Tom from School of Education. You ideally don't want to reference a teacher from your school, whether you did have a very successful career with your academic school. Remember, within your football CV, do not be vague, be straight to the point, be direct, and be sharp with what you say. If you reach this bit in the video, comment CV, and goodbye.